welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing an empties video. I haven't done one of these in a long time because it really takes me a little while to use up some products. So these are the products that I have been accumulating and I decided to change up the name of my empties videos and call them trash talk videos. First of all, I think it's really cute and let's face it, we're going through my trash. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And I actually really like watching these videos personally because obviously the person that I'm watching has already used up the product and they can kind of give me their full review on, you know, if they liked it or not by using up the entire product. So I think it's kind of fun because they're just a bunch of mini reviews. I hope you guys enjoy. And if you want to see what's in my trash, then just keep watching. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with some hair products. I actually have a lot of hair products. I don't know why, but I've just went through a lot of them recently, and that's what I have to show you guys. So the first one is this L'Oreal Boost It High Lift Creation Spray. I love this, I've already repurchased a new one. It's a really good spray if you have fine hair and you really want a lot of volume in your hair. This is great for that, but I can still comb through my hair with this in, which is great because I don't like that crunchy feeling in my hair, so really really good spray and you can get it from the drugstore and then the next hair product is the paul mitchell forever bond conditioner i love this stuff it's really good especially if you have lighter hair it does tend to light my hair just a little bit even if i have darker hair so you have to watch out if you are coloring your hair darker this really is great for me since i am going blonde with my hair it just really hydrates the hair and i really like it so i've used it all up and i will probably most definitely purchase another one. I am trying another Paul Mitchell product called the Marula Oil line. I really have been loving it, but I will probably stock up on one of these because it's really good. And then I have the Chi 44 Iron Guard Thermal Protection Spray. I like this, but I don't love it. I've been using this other product that's empty that I'll show you. This is the Paul Mitchell Hot Off the Press. They're both thermal sprays, but this is aerosol. This one is a wetter formula. I don't even know what you call it, but it's just, you know, you spray it on and it leaves your hair like really wet. Um, so I don't really prefer that. I'd rather have something that's aerosol that my hair doesn't feel wet basically. So I really like this one though. Um, it's very manageable. It gives a little bit of hold to the hair and it's just really good. And another hair product I have is also from Paul Mitchell. I work at a Paul Mitchell focus salon. So yeah, I try a lot of Paul Mitchell stuff, but this is the Paul Mitchell express dry dry wash. Basically it's a dry shampoo and I really like it. I do have one that I like a little bit better than this one, but this is a really good one. So I may try it again. I don't know. I actually do have one um, of the dry shampoos that I really do like. I tried this at Target and I went back and picked up a full size because I liked it so much. I think I got this on clearance or something at Target for like $3. But this is really good. This is not your mother's clean freak refreshing dry shampoo and I really like this one. I also have some shaving cream in here. This is the Pure Silk Rich and Luxurious Shave Cream for Sensitive Skin. It wasn't bad, it wasn't great. I actually prefer prefer. I actually prefer just to use a um, like a conditioner to shave my legs or a hydrating body wash. So probably won't repurchase this right away, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't great. It's just a shaving cream. And I do have a body butter that I made it all the way through, which is the Shea Body Butter from The Body Shop. This is a really good body butter. It's not like sticky or heavy on the skin, but it is a thick, creamy body wash. This one is like yuck old now, so I definitely need to get a new one, but I really enjoyed it. I love this all over my legs and my body. Um, it's just really, really good. It's hydrating and it's luxe and just yummy, so it is a really good one. And I have finally made it through another one of my self tanners. I usually use Loving Tan and I really, really like it. Um, I went through that one, so I started using up my other self tanners and I made it through this one. This is the Sun Laboratories Sunless Self Tanning Lotion in Ultra Dark. And this is what it looks like right here. It says dark right here, which is kind of confusing, but it is the ultra dark one that is printed right there. But this is a really good self tanner. It's paraben free. It does have a green base to it. Um, so when you apply it, it will not look orange at all. And it just works really well with my skin. 
and I like it a lot. So definitely in one of the top five sunless tanners that I've tried, it's really good. All right, I do have a couple more hair things. I have one of the Forever Blonde by Paul Mitchell Dramatic Repairs. Really good if you have damaged blonde hair. I like to put this in damp hair, let it sit in. It really, really hydrates my hair. So love this stuff. Um, and then I have another leave-in conditioner product. This is the It's a Tin Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. This is great because it adds protein to the hair and it conditions the hair. So this is really good too. Love this stuff. I think I got this one. Yeah, it's a sample. I got this one for free at Ulta. I bought so much and then they gave me a full size one of these, which was awesome. So I still have another one and I love it. Moving on to a few skincare things in here. I have the Josie Moran 100% Argan Oil. I really like this Argan Oil. I do have one that I'm using right now that I like just a little bit better. I'll mention that in my skincare video. But this was a good oil and I really enjoy it. So if I ever needed one, I might go back to this. It was good. And I also have the Tata Harper um, Purifying Cleanser in here. And I absolutely love this cleanser. It is by far my favorite cleanser that I have ever used in my entire life. It's so good. It's gentle. It is very purifying, but it leaves my skin feeling so silky and really nice. So I definitely recommend this. This is 100% natural and non-toxic. It's really good. I think it is a little pricey, but it's amazing. And then I have a product from Derma E. This is the Skin Lightening Natural Fade and Age Spot Cream. I liked this and I didn't like it. I'm like on the fence with it. It definitely lightened my face. It's almost like a bleach, but like natural form. Um, and it was good. I just didn't love it. It left my skin a little bit dull looking, but I did like it for my arms. I do have some freckles that I tried to fade on my arms. So yeah, and no. I mean, I used the whole thing. It wasn't a bad product, but probably wouldn't repurchase it. The last skincare item I have in here is from Origins. This is the um, Ginseng Energy Boosting Moisturizer, and I really like this stuff. Um, I've used a couple of these in the past, and I really like it. It's just a great daytime moisturizer for me. You could use it nighttime, but I like something a little more thick and rich at night, but it's a great daytime moisturizer. Now we're moving on to a couple makeup items that I've went through. It does take me a long time to go through specific makeup items because I'm always buying new things, and I try one thing, and then I get lost on another thing. So it really takes me a long time to go through things, but I do have a couple things to share with you. This first thing I actually have not went through, but my dog went through it. She ate the entire like tip of the um, brow pencil. This is the Smashbox Brow Tech Matte Pencil, and I actually only got to use this once, and it was so good. I loved it, but there's no way to salvage this thing at all. She ate the whole thing. Um, the little spoolie on the end is really good though, and she's got her hair wrapped in it, so probably will not be using this, um, obviously. It was really good that one time that I used it, and I definitely need to go back and repurchase another one because I really liked it. Then I do have a couple mascaras in here. The first one is the Miss Manga Voluminous Mascara. I didn't love this mascara. It gives great volume, but I wasn't a fan of the wand. It's just too wiggly for me. Just didn't like it and it was a little clumpy on me so probably won't repurchase that. The other one is the Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara and I actually had a ton of these ones. This is really great I find for my bottom lashes because it's not too big and chunky. It's just the right shape to get right under there and just hit those bottom lashes. It won't repurchase it though. Then the last one here is the Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara. This is a fiber lash mascara. Didn't love it so probably won't repurchase it. If a mascara doesn't really like wow me then yeah I'm not gonna repurchase it. So it was good, not great won't repurchase. And I went through one of my NYX Micro Brow Pencils. I love this pencil, it's really, really good. It's very comparable to the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, in my opinion. I just really like it, I think it works really well. The only thing I don't like on it is the spoolie at the end. It just does not get through these big brows, but the product itself is really good. I also have something else from NYX. This is the NYX White Pearl Eye Pencil, Eyebrow Pencil. It says eye slash eyebrow pencil. I don't know why you would use this in your eyebrows. It's white, but I guess you could. I was actually using this for my waterline for a while and it's just a little too stark white. Since then, I've been using the Tarte one and the Rimmel one and I like that one a lot better, or those a lot better. I probably wouldn't repurchase this to line my waterline and 
I pretty much wouldn't repurchase it for anything else, so I guess I just won't repurchase it. And then one other thing from NYX in here is the NYX Vanilla Sky Lip Liner. This is the retractable one. I love this color. It's amazing. It's so beautiful. I can't show you the color because there's honestly just nothing left in there. But I really liked it and I need to put this on my list because it's really good. I've also went through one of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Circle Treatment Eraser or something like that. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's this product right here. This one is in Brightener Illuminator. It's so good for dark circles under your eyes. It really brightens that area up and I really like it. So. I will repurchase this as soon as I start going through my Becca one because they're pretty comparable. This one's just way more expensive. And I also have a powder in here from Physicians Formula. This is the Mineral Wear Talc Free in Buff Beige. Wasn't really a, a huge fan of it. I mean, like I used a little bit. I did hit pan on it, but I wouldn't repurchase it. Didn't do anything amazing for my skin. And honestly, I don't use powder on my face too much. It's old, I just need to get rid of it. And then I just have two more small things in here that I wanted to mention to you guys. So the first thing is this little eyeshadow quad from Victoria's Secret. And this is in Minaj, I believe. Um, it's kind of wore off, so I think that that was the name of it. But this is what it looks like right here. The shades are really pretty. They're nothing that's like crazy amazing that you need to go out and buy or anything. But it is old and I'm gonna get rid of it, so I just thought I'd mention it to you guys because it's in my trash and then the very last thing I actually didn't use up but I wanted to mention it to you guys just because I did try it and I'm gonna be throwing it away because it burnt my eyes so bad it's the Ardell brush on lash adhesive so it looks like this I thought it'd be really great because it had a brush on it and thought it was worth a try to apply lashes make it really simple I did want to mention it to you guys because it burnt my eyes like crazy so steer clear of the Ardell brush on lash adhesive if you have sensitive eyes or you just don't want your eyes to burn off because it hurt really bad. All right, you guys, we made it through my trash. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up for more trash talk videos in the future. Thank you guys as always for watching. Please be sure to subscribe if you have it and follow me on Instagram and Snapchat if you want to. And I will talk to you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.